Grad student and sales engineer Nicolette Schumacher studies diligently, works hard, and eats well. She believes that participating in local activities, including dining at neighborhood restaurants, ensure a strong community. And her community is based in Walnut Creek, where you'll often find her working or dining at a place on North Main Street called Cafe La Scala. I am Yelena Gavrik, and uh, my husband and I are the owners of Cafe La Scala. La Scala is a friendly neighborhood place. We stay open until midnight every night, and Friday and Saturday it's one o'clock in the morning. The idea is that you have a place where you can come have a dessert, have a glass of wine, and you don't have to go to a bar. You feel comfortable, so that's, that's what we wanted. What's wonderful about having a cafe like this is meeting so many different people. Morning people for morning coffee, lunch people, and then we have evening people that can sit down and enjoy themselves. Some of the things that people love are soups, fresh soups that we make every day, and paninis. Also tiramisu because it's made fresh and we can't make enough of it. <laughs> Most of our cakes are imported from Italy. When we went one year to Venice and we ordered desserts, desserts were the same desserts that I'm serving here. I still had it though. <laughs> Chocolate cakes that were made from Italy, people do love them. Cannolis are also imported from Italy. My husband and I, we both love opera and La Scala being the most famous opera house in the world, we picked La Scala. And it's every time when I say that name, it just makes me want to sing. <laughs> I won't sing, I promise. <laughs> All right, Nicolette, how long have you been going to this restaurant? It's been around at least 15 years or so. It has. Um, I started going there about 10 years ago. I had a, an internship at a CPA firm, and I started going to lunch there. And that slowly turned into first dates, study breaks, meeting friends for breakfast or dessert, and now it's like my go-to place. It's like my second home. So I every day wake up hoping that they're gonna make the mushroom soup. The <laughs> chef, she picks what she wants to make every day, and mushroom soup comes about once a month, and it's just this beautiful, creamy, rich, savory soup. It just fills up the whole place with this nice, beautiful smell. And the cool thing about this place, it's not just the food, is you meet people there and it's like this weird little thing where people become really good friends and I've made business connections, really good personal friendships there, and they're regular. So it's an atmosphere as well. Yeah. Now, what did you experience when you went there, Eric? Well, it, was, um, it wasn't what I thought it was going to be when I went. Um, first of all, they have a blackboard menu, mm -hmm. which, which yeah. is, is kind of cool, and um, I saw it more as a coffee shop. Mm -hmm. I'm not that big of a coffee drinker, mm -hmm. uh, but they did have a uh, lot of food and they did have uh, beer and wine. Yes. So both my wife and I did have a glass of Prosecco when we went. Well, there you go. So, I yeah. like you already. So, so that was great. I thought the service could be a little bit better. You know, they gave us time to look at the menu since we hadn't been there before, and then we ordered and then we went and sat down. And then off to the side, I noticed another blackboard menu that had some specials on it. Mm -hmm. And not that I would have gotten the specials, but I thought, oh, geez. They didn't even mention Yeah, they didn't even mention those. What did you get to eat? Um, I got a pizza. I got a, a, a sausage and roasted pepper. Uh, we, we, we did enjoy it. Thin crust it. pizza? It was a thin crust pizza, right. The uh, r roasted red peppers on there, so it had a little sweet taste to it, which was, which was very good. Did you go for um, dinner or lunch? We went for lunch, okay, I think, okay. on, on a Sunday. And uh, there were a lot of people in there studying. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so it almost felt like, you know, could we talk? Could we not talk? Should we keep it? Should we keep it quiet? The library. Did you bring yeah. your Did you bring your books when you I, went? I went alone actually, um, and I had a good time. Actually, I thought it was very comfortable. It was mm -hmm. very warm and inviting, and the people that were there seemed very friendly. The yeah. staff was good. Um, did you get the Italian vibe? European kind of. Yes, you know? a little yeah. bit. Yeah. I think that's right. Yeah, it reminded me of some of the places I'd been in Europe, yeah. mm -hmm. um, which was very nice. Mm -hmm. And the I, cafe lifestyle. Yeah, the cafe lifestyle, which mm -hmm. I cannot live anymore, of course, yes. with two kids and a job <laughs> and everything else. But <laughs> it was a nice throwback to my yeah. college days. And I thought the food was good. I had the chicken panini sandwich. Mm -hmm. um, it was the bread was very uh, crunchy, and the chicken inside was very moist and delicious. Mm -hmm. The vegetables that were in there were grilled very well, and it all came together very well. It was very tasty. It's mm -hmm. all fresh, too. It's and very fresh. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. I agree. The ingredients are, are very fresh, and it's executed very well. And mm -hmm. I had a good time. 
You know, um, the dessert is unbelievable. So they're getting this in fresh from Italy. I think they fly it in every day, it's if I'm not mistaken. All, the cannoli is mm. unreal. It's, and I have a friend who's from Italy, mm -hmm. and she said it's authentic. Um, really rich, creamy, sweet inside with chocolate mm -hmm. chips, and then they do like an orange rind on the outside, and the, the crust is really thick and fresh. It tastes like it was baked that morning. Well, I think that's the thing about this place. If you're going there for the coffee and the desserts, mm -hmm. I don't think you can go wrong. Yeah. The best thing of the whole meal was the uh, homemade gelato they had, mm -hmm. yeah. and uh, they had a, van a scoop of vanilla and a scoop of hazelnut which was very good and my wife ate most of it but I did have a taste of the hazelnut and it was very good it was very fresh and very creamy mm -hmm. and uh, I could see myself if uh, if I was in the area especially I used to work in downtown Walnut yeah. Creek mm -hmm. and I didn't know about the place I think if I was there I would go in to get some of that uh, gelato for and sure. And you just had pizza and Prosecco that was it? We just had pizza and Prosecco <laughs> yes. That is very Italian. <laughs> okay. So if you ever have extra work to do because I know you guys have busy jobs it's a great place to go. They're open till one in the morning, sometimes mm -hmm. two, free wireless, and you can have like a nice glass of wine. Or the affogato, which is two scoops of gelato, espresso dripped over it, and mm -hmm. then whipped cream. So you get the caffeine oh, and the wow. dessert. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm yeah. Sure that really if you yeah. study it. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> All right, Nicolette, this is your mm -hmm. spot. Wrap it up for us. Sure, Cafe La Scala, my second home. Beautiful outdoor seating, open late, um, great dessert, and really good coffee. All right, and Eric? I think if I worked in the area, I would go there for lunch. It's a good alternative to the fast food that they, they have in Walnut Creek, uh, but I couldn't see myself going any other time. Okay, and Roger? I thought it was a warm, cozy, inviting place to go. I thought the food was a cut above a lot of the cafes, even in San Francisco, uh, but I'd be hard pressed to make a special trip from San Francisco, especially with two kids. Okay, if you would like to try Cafe La Scala, it's on North Main Street at Civic Drive in Walnut Creek. The telephone number is 925-935-7779. It's open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner every day. Reservations are not accepted, and the average tab per person without drinks is around $15.